Hey guys and welcome back to Crafts with Beth. This week we've got a really fun craft we're doing which I've seen on social media and I really want to do and it is in fact this little guy and it's Elmer the elephant out of a milk bottle. So that is what we're going to be making today. I hope you are looking forward to that because I've had really fun making this one. So that's what we're going to be making in just a moment. And you guys probably know the story of Alpha the Element already, but just in case you don't, a really key part of the story is that all the elephants in the story are grey and plain, apart from Elma, who's different and really colourful. And so part of the story that's really important is the fact that Elma is different, and she brings a lot of joy to all of the other elephants. And so part of this craft is helping us to remember that even when we're different, that's a good thing. We are all unique and we're all loved for who we are. So this week's verse for the day is from Psalm 139 and it's verse 13 to 14 from the New Living Translation and it says this. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. And so this verse from the Bible is a really good one for us to remember as it helps us know that we are known and loved by God. Sometimes we might think we might want to change ourselves or what we look like. For example, you might want to be sporty like your brother or you might want to be taller like your friend. But this verse and Elm the Elephant helps us know that we're all made differently and that's okay and we love for who we are. So every time we see our elephant, we'll remember that. So let's get on with the craft. Brilliant, so here's what we're going to need for today's craft. The main thing being the, the milk bottle, which will be the base of the elephant. And also what we'll need is some plain paper, and that will be for the ears, some white paper, and then some coloured paper as well. If you don't have colour paper, feel free to just get some coloured pens and then colour in strips of the white paper, which you can use for the squares on the body. You also need some scissors, glue, sellotape and a black marker. So feel free to pause the video while you go get those things. Great, so I hope you've got everything that you need. We're going to start straight away with stage one, which is the elephant body. So this is what you'll need for the first part of this craft. It is your milk bottle. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw around the top part of the milk bottle with either by row or a marker pen, whatever you have around. And you're going to do it in this top half here, a line all the way around, just like I've done. And then little semicircles on each side, including a larger one at the front, because that's going to be each leg of the elephant there and there. So once you've done that, as well as putting a little line here, you are ready to start cutting. So this is where you're going to need your scissors. Now this is a bit of a tricky stage, so make sure that you get some help if you need it. And what you can do to start off is to find a bit on here which you're not going to use just to cut into, and then go from there, follow the lines which you've drawn onto the milk bottle. And then once you've done that, we can come on to the next stage. There we go, so this is what it should look like after you've cut it out and that should be a little bit higher than the feet for the trunk. So that is your first stage done. Next stage we're going to go onto the main body 
of the elephant, which is the colourful squares. So I'm going to show you how to do that just now. So what you can see that I've done here for the next stage is I've cut strips of colourful card, well colourful paper is usually better because the, the heavier the card the harder it will be to stick so paper is generally better. I've cut them into strips and then I've cut them into squares and if you don't have coloured paper then that's completely fine just colour in some white paper with a marker or any colouring pencils or pens that you have and then cut into strips and do the squares just exactly the same as the other ones. Um, and you can do that for as many colours as you like. I've got four different colours here using a mixture of the paper and the one I've just coloured in on the white paper. So once you've done that, you've got lots of little squares, then we can stick them onto our elephant so it can go um, ready for um, the milk classing. So once you've got all of them cut out like so, all you need to do now is, with some Pritt stick, stick it onto this part and this part of the milk carton, including this as well. If you do have PVA glue, it can make it a bit easier, so you feel free to use that, but I only have a glue stick, so that's what I'm gonna be using. And once you've done that, we'll move on to the next stage. Great, so this is my finished elephant with the colourful squares on it. Not quite finished like this one, but I've done the most of it by doing this. This bit can be quite tricky, so if you need to cut smaller squares and stick it on, that's completely fine. And you can cover it as much as you want with as many colours as you like. Great, so now you've done that, we can move on to the next stage. Great, so the next stage are the lovely ears, and so what you're going to need to do is cut out two ear-like shapes, which are about that size in relation to the elephant, not too big, not too small, and what you'll do, once you've cut them out, is fold one part of the ear, like so, and that's going to be what we stick onto the elephant, so just need to have a little fold, just like that. And then do three slits, so one and two, so there's three little sections now, so that when we come to stick it onto the ear, the ear onto the elephant, sorry, it, it means it just sticks a bit better because then it can bend a bit more around the shape of the elephant. So do that for first ear and then the second ear as well. And once you've done that, you just need to do the exact same thing as what you did for the body of the elephant by sticking on these little squares onto the front and the back so it blends in really nicely and you can use your pen as well so we can do that just now. Brilliant, so hopefully yours will probably look something like this. So you've got both of them with lots of lovely squares on with three slots there and a bit of a folded section like so. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stick this to the side of the elephant. So the flap, the foldy bit, should go towards the back. So you're going to hold it in place near the front like so, holding the flap and then getting some sellotape, sticking that section down like so. And that's why we needed those three little slits because then it just curves a little bit better. So there's one ear done and then we'll do the exact same thing for the other ear. Getting this and then putting it up against the elephant there, making sure the flap is towards the back and sticking it with our sellotape. And that is that stage done. So we've got them 
nicely stuck to the back. Feel free to stick some more sellotape if it feels like it's going to fall off. Let's move on to the last stage. So the last stage are the details. As you can see on this one, we have got a lovely smiley elephant with some trunk lines, eyes, smile and some ear detail there with our black marker pen. So getting your black marker pen or whatever you have at home, just draw out an eye on white paper. So as you can see of what I've done here is you do a little black circle with a black dot and you can do that for both eyes and then stick them on that section of the elephant and then once you've done that you can fill out the rest of the details with a smile underneath there and the ears and the trunk lines. So crack on with that and then we'll almost be done. is your Elma the Elephant finished and may this remind you that you are unique and special and loved and different from everyone else and that's a good thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this task. Thanks for watching.